Hello, Welcome to continuation of the Revolt of Beastmasters of Heroes 3 Chronicles. We are going into final mission, the first Tatalian War. Prince Niven joins Starnum to free both the Modlanders and Aradia from Mad King Griffinherd, Brutal Reign. So we go, of course, we start with this difficulty and we go with 25 Lizards. So let's go. Erathia had crowned Niven the new king of Erathia, leaving King Griffinheart without any support. The Mad King would be at his most dangerous now that he had nothing to lose. I met briefly with Niven when I arrived in this region. He had grown moustache since I last saw him. Probably an attempt to make himself appear a little older. He was, after all, a young king. Drogol rode next to him, still dressed in his mud stained leather tunic. A few smudges of the dirt, the angry pink scar on his jaw, marred his otherwise perfect face. Drogol couldn't grow a mustache if he spent the next three years trying. He always looked young when standing next to his friend. Well, I guess I should call you king now, I said, taking the event sense. It's only a title, turn event said. As much as we wanted to continue joking to keep this pleasant moment alive, yet there is work ahead of us. Your father's armies are in the south, unfortunately. We took heavy losses driving him there and need to rebuild our forces, I said. Niven nodded his understanding. I had taken some losses of my own. When we first arrived, we suffered heavy losses to ambushes from the natives of these swamps. I tried to reason with them, but they would not believe we are allies until Drogo convinced them to stop their attacks, Niven stated. So we are both having trouble. The only good news is your father has lost his support from home. He's alone, except for us, for the thieves and the mercenaries he has been hired. Are you prepared to keep this war going until he's defeated? Absolutely, I have sworn. Sworn King Niven said. So this is Niven, level 32, okay. It'll be a strong ballista. Uh, don't think so they'll be joining, right? Because that's quite a few of them. Okay, so I guess we will take everything to turn on. Can we go immediately after the heroes? This is the Gryphon Heart that's like the strongest hero, right? Maybe we can like rush with Starnum immediately. Considering this army as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I could like open the mines at least, I guess. They said they are in south, right? So I guess let's go south. I don't think so. We are winning that. Okay. Huh? And this guy is having something as well. Oh, this action. Okay, nice. Oh, there's Kunze. They would like to buy Spellbook for him, right? So let's do that. This is slow. as well. Okay. Nice. So I could go for the console. Although I could, if, if the console would be big, it would be kind of difficult with the list, right? So let's be local fraud. I don't think so. Oh, look, we can upgrade the units. Okay, Symbolist will be doing really good damage.
for this then okay that's also psychosis so I don't think so I'm clean that okay another ambush okay So there are the heroes already, that's good. I guess. Do I, I should build the towns, right? Yeah, I definitely should build the towns. So I don't think so, the spells alone will be enough to carry around. This is what they meant like they are hiring the other stables. Okay. So let's try to building these towns up. Well, I'm not sure why I'm not trying to build a castle. Today we capture some rogues when they try to ambush our supply units. When we search them. However, we discovered not bearing mouth Griffin Griffin Hurt rolls. Is this a bounty on that of his own son, Niven? I said Alan. How much? asked Alamina, who was always at my side these days. Perhaps to make sure I didn't make any decision without the consent of the wise woman. Twice as much as he has offered for my head. Twenty thousand gold. King Niven must have really angered at him, Alamina said. Yeah, I said. Crumbling the paper. And if I knew anything about the Griffin Hurt, he will do anything to get his way. Turning to nearest soldiers I said hurry get me out the fastest runner and even is cruising in the swamp oh uh, do we have like mm -hmm. so is this another castle I'm not sure this looks like some castle That's all? Okay. Let's table up. Like, that, that we could go. Okay, that's that's uh, for some moment I thought I'm flying. It's funny. The enemy has flat. Uh, can I somehow prevent that? I'm not sure. I have to. I have blind run.
So let me paint this guy back here. So, oh, there is Hive, okay, so you can go from that. So you can get stables. Into turns. Let's go get this Hive. Where was the movement? I have no clue. Oh, here. Okay. Could be, I guess, the capital. I wonder if he's like, is he free can go whether he wants to or not? No clue, right? Okay, I can build a river, the city house, yeah. Yeah, there is no movement, right? Swing angels, and he's stronger than me, okay. So, looks like I have to build the army. So, I should focus on this stone. And I guess I can then collect something with Starman. Oh, there is, that's a hive. Okay. 
Castle, castle. You have full income here, okay. So I do have here also I don't need to buy more. I suspected Mad King Griffin heard sentinel assassin after his own son. I received a word from the event this morning that someone recently tried to kill him. And if not for the messenger I sent to warn him, the assassin might have succeeded. The clerk came in the middle of the night discussed as a monk loyal to Neven cause. By the time he slipped into Neven's tent, Drogo had already spotted him. As Neven described it, the monk drew a long blade from the fold of his robes. But before he could attack, Drogo jumped on the clerk back and dragged him to the ground. There was a brief start landing with the assassin dead. Yeah, so we saved him. Okay. Okay. So I guess now we need to find the tent. No tent, but you can go and collect that. It's a lot of them. I should go like this way, right? Maybe it's somewhere here. It is okay. So, okay, so I don't think so. I need more armor, so let's just upgrade this. I didn't even see what was his armor, right? Oh, well, I assume, yeah, my stats are much better, right? So, can double the mana here, even cool. There is high. Be careful about these consoles. I actually don't because I... I don't want to bother getting them with me. So you can get army, and I will upgrade Gorgons in this town. Only. Okay, time to build anything. The more the merrier. Right? Today, Drogo representing the town, and even representing the earth. So it's a TT stating that two men, woman, or creature can hold another as a slave. Niven has difficult tasks ahead of him, restructuring the Arter economy, now that he's spread to all the slaves. But I think the boy is up to the task. Perhaps this bold agreement will spread to other nations as well. Indeed, let's see. Let's 
by everything. Let's go down for this army. And yeah, twenty five five. So I'm missing salt. I hope this is like enough. We will see. It should be more than enough, right? Yeah. Versus this, that's not, even if that would be like very insane armor. Let's go. We have even double the mana. Yeah, okay. That should be easy. You cannot buy even like. No. You can buy his army. <laughs> That's actually fun. He's having offense, right? Because he is Roland. No, the Roland heroes are more, right? the final scenario of Revolts of Beastmaster. Hope you enjoyed the series and we will be coming soon with the next one which we very will be playing for the Tower faction so looking forward for that. So thank you for being here in this series and see you next time.